Hey folks, it's Greg, you're watching Greg the Country Cabin Outdoors. Hope you're having a great day. Uh, I just left a celebration of life for my good friend Ralph, who passed away July 12th. Uh, Ralph was a neighbor to me when we first bought our cabin. Uh, he had a house not too far from it. And he and his wife were good friends with my wife and I. So we would spend hours on weekends get together, playing cards, having dinner, watching movies, having a good time. And Ralph was one of the guys that was part of my poker night group. So uh, yeah, a good friend of mine, Garrett, came over and uh, so we celebrated our friendship with Ralph along with his family. So I'm headed back out to my cabin now because I've got to gather up some video equipment. I want to try to head over to Pike County and see if I can get a video of an outfitter that's over there. Uh, deer season's coming up. Bow season opens up in October in Illinois, and uh, so they cater to bow hunters. So I want to try to get over there and get a video on my channel about his lodge, their lodge, his and hers. Uh, when you talk to them, you will talk to his wife uh, to make arrangements for their stay. Uh, he will take you around, show you the property, show you what's available, and uh, I'm hoping to be able to get over there, get some video of their lodge, and uh, get some video of their properties, and uh, let you have an idea of what you're doing. Uh, they do put pictures up on their uh, webpage of uh, deer that are on their property. They have trail cameras set up, and uh, they're hooked up to the phone, so when a deer crosses, they can get a good picture of it. Also, they have uh, turkey hunting in the spring. I don't know if they do a fall turkey hunt or not, but uh, anyway, hopefully I'll be able to get that video tomorrow. Uh, I've got to call them see if they're going to be home. I know they go to church on Sunday mornings, so it'll be a matter of establishing the time if they're available. So, stay tuned. Hopefully we'll be able to get a good one. Okay, I just got done talking to Sandy Butler, Butler Farms Outdoor Adventures. They're the outfitters that I was telling you about. And so I'm not going to be able to make that video. I was hoping to because I wanted to get it well in advance of uh, deer hunting season. I guess so. But anyway, I still want to promote their outfitters. Butler Farms Outdoor Adventures. And I want to put this up because I want you folks to know that there will be a video coming up about their outfitter lodge and the amenities that they have that are available to deer hunters. Not only deer hunters, but turkey hunters. They've got a lodge that has accommodations that include two, not just one, but two stoves with ovens, not just one, but two refrigerators, plenty of counter space for making things happen. <clears throat> They've got wheelchair accessible bedroom, wheelchair accessible bathroom, and I believe, I might be wrong, but I believe there's three bedrooms with four bunk beds in them. Those bedrooms not only have four bunks in them, but they also have a bathroom for each bedroom. So, they've got four bathrooms in this lodge. 
to have a fish pond that you can fish in, and I believe it's catch and release. I don't know for sure, but I'm going to try to get video of their property because they've got 160 acres, I believe, if not more, of prime deer hunting property. They've got cornfields, they've got bean fields, and they've got timberland. They've got trail cameras that are set up. They take pictures regularly of their uh, trophy bucks, and they post them on their Facebook page. So, what I hope to get in the future when I do this video, I hope to get all that information so that I can put it in the description below. So please, stay tuned to my channel. We'll watch and see what happens. Sandy and Don are great people and they've treated me very well. And I have harvested plenty of deer off of their property. I harvested my very first deer off of their property. I've got 17 deer that I have killed. And I know that I killed at least 11 off their property. And there's not been too many times that I haven't taken home a minimum of two deer. Stay tuned. It promises to be a good video. It's a great place to hunt. Pike County, Illinois, deer hunting capital of the world. I know they've had Russians on their property. I know they've had people from all over the world. But a lot of people from all over the United States. Well, I just got off the phone with my outfitter friends, so uh, we're not going to be making a video tomorrow. Hopefully, we'll be able to do a real nice presentation for Butler Farms Outdoor Adventures. That's the name of the uh, outfitter. And uh, <laughs> hope for the best. They're good people. They really are good people. Couldn't ask for better outfitters.